If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. All the news regarding Starship Hopper, or Star Hopper as Elon Musk refers to the test vehicle, have stolen the headlines over the past few weeks. Furthermore, Elon Musk also announced the work on both Super Heavy and SpaceX Starship has commenced. If the schedule holds, very first Starship could roll out sometimes in June and Super Heavy should follow soon behind sometimes in mid to late July. Elon Musk had a dream. Dream that one day humanity might colonize Mars. Just like in Kim Stanley Robinson's novel, The Mars Trilogy. All this soon could become a reality, largely thanks to Elon Musk and SpaceX rocket that is being built. Work on SpaceX Starship has started, with likely rolling out date schedule for mid-June. The work on Super Heavy is expected to start in a few weeks time, with rolling out date expected sometimes in mid to late July. It is not clear if both Starship and Super Heavy are expected to be tested individually or as one complete system soon after they have been completed. SpaceX hopes to build both monster rockets at two sites. A duo of SpaceX job postings at the company's South Texas facility have confirmed that both Starship and Super Heavy vehicles will be initially fabricated at assembly on site in Boca Chica. Also, this implies that rockets' first orbital launch attempts will occur at the same facility. Posted on 15th of February, open positions centered around structural assembly, i.e. welding parts, critical to the construction of the massive propeller tank domes, barrel sections, and other major structures of the Starship and Super Heavy. Following an anticipated pivot to stainless steel rather than advanced carbon composites as the primary structure material of the choice for the future Super Heavy and Starship, the project has been continuously marked by a flurry of impressive technical progress. Most notably and sadly, SpaceX appeared to have terminated a lease agreement it had held with the Port of Los Angeles for a large berth meant to be developed into a dedicated factory for Super Heavy and Starship, whose 9 meter diameter would have been highly impractical to build somewhere that wasn't either at the rocket's launch site or directly adjacent to the port. With its headquarters in Horton, California, SpaceX's first choice was, unsurprisingly, the Port of Los Angeles, a location that would have allowed its 5,000 strong workforce to seamlessly transfer to the Starship program without requiring highly disruptive relocations. Known as Berth 240, SpaceX lease began in March 2018, but was reportedly terminated in January 2019, likely meaning that the company will have to vacate the promises very soon. While an official SpaceX statement and subsequent Elon Musk tweets relating to the report serve to partially correct the record and confirm that Starship prototypes will be built locally in South Texas, Super Heavy was never mentioned. SpaceX latest job postings completes the image, indicating that all aspects of the first Starship and Super Heavy prototypes will be assembled in South Texas. Weighing just shy of 4.5 thousand tons, fully fueled and standing at the round 118 meters tall, with both stages stacked together, the Starship and Super Heavy, once operational, will be the most powerful rocket ever launched or built, as a result of which the new methods of production and assembly, thanks to its sheer scale and extensive integration of stainless steel alloy into the design. Compared to SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which is by no means small, Super Heavy on its own could end up being 68 meters tall, just slightly shorter than complete Falcon 9 with a booster, upper stage and a fairing at 71 meters. Standing on its triple fins, Starship stands around 55 meters tall and once completed will be the largest and most powerful spaceship ever launched, capable of launching up to 50 tons into low Earth orbit on its own power. With the recent NASA announcement of Space Launch System Rethink and looking for commercial partners to deliver future lunar components, SpaceX saw impetus and an expected need for Starship and Super Heavy. And although SpaceX hoped for commercial demands for both rockets might materialize further down the line, the unexpected twist makes things a lot easier for SpaceX and Elon Musk.
as well as future Mars colonization, remains on target. NASA's return to the Moon by 2028, including construction of a permanent base on the lunar surface by 2029, has given SpaceX and Starship the new lease of life, something I'm sure Elon Musk will take and use to its full effect. The consequences for Boeing and Space Launch System might be less clear now, but clear winner here might be the SpaceX and Starship. Mm -hmm.